Hello everybody, it's Tom from the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel. Well, the weather in Jersey has been awful all week, and in fact, we even had another tornado yesterday. So, today's video is just a short one using footage I filmed on Sunday, the 8th of October 2023. Today's walk starts at Sorrel Point on the north coast of Jersey, Channel Islands. We head away from the point up La Rue de Sorel. Turn left into La Route de Nord. Pass Rone Quarry. and reached the car park at Les Fontaines. So? You go ahead. Well, this was good. Hi everybody, that's Rone Quarry. In a video I posted several months back, we walked from Les Fontaines car park to this fantastic viewpoint at Sorel Point. And in today's video, we walk back to the car at Les Fontaines. Not bad, huh? Just do that. <laughs> Left it a bit late, didn't we? So, what do you want to do? Walk back? Yeah, we can walk back. It's lovely. Got us out, isn't it?
must have been a decision a long time ago to quarry that land and because it must have been stunningly beautiful down here in those days and yet, yeah, yet they've ended up granting permission to a quarry I know it's been there forever well, not forever but for a long time and there's all that yet to go so I think there's going to be plenty of more North Coast walks. But not walk it all at once. Yeah. Do you like, say, do the coast? Yeah, do all the coast. Yeah, all okay. the way around. I'll just I can drop you to places and yeah. walk with you, but. Good idea. But there's plenty more walks over them thar hills, I reckon, that I have never been to. So there'll probably be a fair amount of getting lost and saying where are we but then if you discover places like that yeah I'm 63 and I have never been to Sorrel Point before and seen those beautiful views I know I've been here for most of my life I went away to school for seven years in England 15 years in Hong Kong but you would have thought I would have seen something as beautiful as that but no what we have now yeah well I think next time we can yeah next here. time yeah and go and around there go. yeah that sounds good it will call this a wrap so it'll be a little one-off video with some spectacular scenery and then we'll come back and do it again well if we do walk tomorrow night if I finish like this early. time I yeah. finish it to get home early yeah and we'll walk around I've got to get my steps in okay I'm up for it and we know the direct route to drive it now Maybe I'll record uh, the drive back. I'll go the way we came. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that was just breathtakingly beautiful. And the weather helps. It's now quarter past four. I'm in a t-shirt. My wife has no arms on her dress. I'm just impressed she was scrambling up and down those rocks in her high heels. <laughs> Yeah, you can't beat this. I don't think we're ever moving again. But if we win the premium bonds, we get to live on the North Coast. Coast. Yeah, I, I think I'm with you on that one. Okay. A little. We better hurry up and. Uh, a little cottage. A little cottage. Although but, we've just done lots of work to get this one. Uh, but. We better hurry up and win the premium bonds fairly soon because we're no spring chickens. <laughs> and here's this sort of bush that has these red berries on that I found on a few of these north coast walks. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell us what it is. It's a tree, I think. Very woody. So we're now on La Route du Nord. I won't even insult you by translating that into English.
So everything to the left of us now is Rone Quarry. So this is nice. Well, I might as well take the time to thank everybody who's commented on a recent video I did, which was a walk through St. Helia. Um, I have to admit that when I put it out, I thought it was a little bit dreary, but uh, lots of people have commented and said they really enjoyed it because they saw bits that reminded them of times gone by. So it just goes to show. Some people enjoy the more sedate walks around town, seeing buildings where they used to live, places they used to go. So I'm glad people enjoyed it. And we'll keep on making movies. Well, this was a lot more gentle than the walk we did yesterday, that's for sure. <laughs> Your hips, I don't think you'd take another. Yeah. Cliff path walk. After have a, having to double back and climb up that steep hill for a second time, I have to say, um, I was struggling a bit. Do you want to have a look? Let's see what's the inscription. Wayne Lewis, driller, shot fire, 1962 to 2018. Wow. Our friend and colleague for 30 years. It's a nice, yep, nice memorial. I'm sure the, the prison will put a nice piece of granite <laughs> with a plaque on when I, when I snuff it. Thing. It is to Tom Muir, he used to work here. <laughs> Somebody's sock. Socks, actually. That's a pair. <laughs> a little plaque at the bottom of that tree as well. Let's have a look. It says, this tree was planted to honor Colin Rabe in recognition of 40 years service with aggregate wow. industries in 2012. He probably didn't work anywhere else. No. So fair play to him. And that is nice that this, yeah. But this company, obviously, has paid tribute to a couple of its old employees. Is that another no, plaque? No. All right. Fair play for those two gentlemen for working so long in those for that company. Forty years for one company, that's a long time. Probably only work there. Yeah. If you think about it, probably started oh maybe probably started when he was sixteen and Yeah. So we have a nice pension pot working in the same company for that long because yeah, there's all the pensions used to be pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. They're that. scaling back pensions because people are living so long. The pensions for people who work for the states in most jobs used to be one fortieth of your salary. 
um, they then changed that to 160th I'm not sure if it's not changed again to be 180th but obviously pensions are becoming so expensive because people are living longer so that's that lovely if there's such a thing it's a nice place for a run Personally, I'd rather walk. You used to run. Yeah, a little bit. Sparking temperatures. Yeah. That was just a different age. But somebody's taking their cardboard box for a walk. That's nice. Right now. How far is the pub away? What, what do farmers look like? Oh, and here's the car park. So even two miles? No, but it was nice. Got us out of the house, saw some breathtaking scenery. Mm -hmm. oh. How Paddy would have enjoyed it. He really just dropped him off. country pubs how they survive I don't know because obviously way back in time I'm not condoning it in any measure or form but way back people used to drink and drive and obviously I don't think well hardly anybody would do that today Which is great, but if you're a country pub, it makes it rather difficult, doesn't it? And on that note, we've finished our walk. <laughs> <laughs>